Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at how we can make virtual collections of images without moving files on the hard drive and without duplicating them, wasting a lot of space. So the way we're going to do this is through the Collections panel in Lightroom. Now, if I click on the plus icon, I have the option of creating a regular collection, a smart collection, or a collection set. We're going to begin by creating a collection set, which is basically just a folder that we can then put collections into. So I'll go ahead and call this my Getting Started Collection, and I'll choose Create. We can now see in the collections area, I have the default smart collections and also this Getting Started Collection set. Now, if I want to create a collection, I'll go back to the plus icon and choose Create Collection. What I want to do is I want to create a collection of maybe my four or six best images from Japan. So I'm going to call these Nature Shots and I'll call it Japan. I want to put these inside of the Getting Started Collection set. And because I didn't select any photos to begin with, I don't want to include this selected photo. I'll choose Create, and then I'll move down to the bottom of this photo shoot, and I'll start selecting the images that I want to add to this collection. So I'm just holding down the Command key on the Mac, it would be the Control key on Windows, and I'll select maybe these four images, and then drag them into this collection set. Now I'll scroll up a little bit further until I find another image. I'll select that image, and then again, holding down the Command or the Control key, I'll select one more image and drag those two into the Japan collection set. Now when I click on the Nature Japan collection set, we can see the contents of that set but I haven't actually moved any of these files on the hard drive. They all remain in that original folder. What I'm creating is a virtual collection, basically just a pointer to these different images. If I decide that I don't like one of the images in this collection, I can select that image and then tap the Delete key. You'll notice that I didn't get the dialog box asking me if I want to remove or delete the file because here I'm not deleting the image from the folder area. Instead, I'm deleting it from the collection area. So the image still exists on the hard drive in the same folder structure that it always did. Now let's go back to that Japan folder again and I'm going to select a few other images because I want to create another collection. Some of the images that I select right now, I will have also added to the Nature Japan collection, but some of them will be different. And that's the great thing about collections is that you can add the same image to multiple collections at one time, again, without duplicating the file on the hard drive. So I'll select these images first and then click on the plus icon to create my second collection. And this is going to be my portfolio. I'll put it inside the Getting Started Collection set, and because I've taken the time to select some images, I'll go ahead and include some selected photos. I'll click Create. You can see that Lightroom already created that portfolio using those selected images. Now I'm going to move to a different folder of images. I might go to the Shanghai folder of images, for example, and I might want to add some images here to that collection. So I'll scroll through and then I'll select the images that I want by just holding down the command key and clicking on the image, scrolling on down, and then to add these three images, I'll drag and drop them on top of the portfolio. When I click on the portfolio collection, you can see that not only can I have the same image that's in a different collection, but I can have multiple images from multiple different folders, again, without ever duplicating the file and without wasting any space on the hard drive because, again, these are virtual collections. Okay, let's make one more collection. I'll go ahead and deselect all of the images. And then, if I want to put this collection inside this collection set, there's a little shortcut. I can just right mouse click on the collection set, or I can hold down the control key and click if I'm on the Mac, and choose to create my collection. You'll notice that because I right mouse click on the name of the collection set, that Lightroom automatically assumed that I wanted to 
add this collection into that set. So let's go ahead and I will call this one portraits. And what I'm going to do this time to make this more efficient is I will set this as my target collection. Now, when I click create, you'll notice there's a little plus icon next to the word portraits. Well, now I can move to another folder. I can select an image and instead of having to drag and drop it to the collection, because that would also require that I scroll, all I need to do is tap the B key because the B key will automatically add this to my targeted collection, which is the portrait collection. Now we'll scroll down a little bit more here. I believe I might have one or two more portraits here. We'll tap the B key. Then I'll move to another folder, in this case the Shanghai folder again. Select an image, tap the B key. Select another image, tap the B key. I think you can see how much more efficient it is to just tap the B key every time I want to add an image to a collection as opposed to having to drag and drop it from the grid area to that collection itself. Let's go ahead and select that portrait collection because I also want to show you that these regular collections can have their own custom sort order. So I might want to select all of my images using Command A or Control A, tap the N key to go to survey mode to see my images a little bit larger, tap the Tab key to hide those panels, and then I can quickly drag and drop in order to reorder these files, creating the custom sort order that I want. When I return back to grid view, you can see that they're now in that order. I'll tap the Tab key in order to bring back my panels. One last thing that I want to point out, I'll move back to the portfolio collection and I'll select an image that I know is in more than one collection. And I know this because I can click on the little badge icon for collections and I can see that this is not only in the portfolio collection but also the Nature Japan collection. Once the image is selected, I'm going to make a slight change to the image. I'm going to tap the V key. The V key will convert this to black and white because I want to show you that if you make a change to an image that's in a collection, it actually makes that change to the original file. And if we move over to the other collection that that image is in, you can see that it's been changed there as well. If I want one version in black and white and the other version in color, what I would need to do is create what's called a virtual copy. Just like we have virtual collections, a virtual copy allows me to have two thumbnails in Lightroom with different processing applied to them. In order to create this virtual copy, I'll go to the photo menu and then create virtual copy. I'll leave the virtual copy in black and white, moving back over to the original there, the master copy, and I'll tap the V key again to bring that back to color. Now when we move back to the portfolio collection, you can see that because I changed the master image back to color, that's what I'm seeing here in the portfolio collection. So there you go, an easy way to make collections of images within Lightroom without duplicating any of your files or moving them on the hard drive. My name is Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.